Good day ladies and gents, the installation of patch 14.5 has begun and we're gonna go through the patch notes. So, first of all, started the first iteration of the seasons system. The season change implies a change in the visual part of the locations, ambient sound and weather effects. Early spring will be available in this update. Other seasons are coming in the future updates. So what this means is that BSG are trying to implement the system which will correspond to the similar type of weather in the game um, as the weather there is in Tarkov. So right now it's going to be early spring after the update uh, is done. The snow should be gone. Majority of the vegetation should be, I guess, uh, yellow, green-ish. There shouldn't be too many thick bushes. The leaves on the tree shouldn't be as thick. And maybe we're gonna see a lot of rain, because generally it rains a lot in Russia uh, during this season. And the same thing applies to summer, we're gonna see a lot of vegetation. Uh, hopefully there's gonna be a lot of sun. And uh, whenever the time comes for autumn, once again, probably we're gonna see yellow vegetation, we're gonna see um, um, trees losing leaves, uh, grass becoming thin and yellow. Added the BTR to woods traveling between different stop points. Skev Bunker, Sunken Village, Old Sommel, and a bunch of others. Added a detailed suspension system to the BTR for more realistic rough terrain movement. So we're gonna get realistic BTR movement, let's go. Open the gates at the northern and southern UN roadblocks uh, to allow BTR to drive outside the location. These exits are under sniper fire beyond the gates. So this area will be open, as far as understood, in between. So this is this is the the woods map. If we go to the UN roadblock, BTR is gonna travel through here, and then it will travel all the way here to the northern UN roadblock. The gates will be open, and if you leave the gates by your feet, you're gonna get shot by snipers. So do not do that. Updated the matching system for Ground Zero. The system divides players into beginners up to level 20 and experienced players beyond level 20. For experienced players, there will be a modified version of Ground Zero with increased difficulty of scavs, chance to find rare loot, possibility of an airdrop, and the possibility of scav boss Kalantai appearing. This is kind of cool, because you can use Ground Zero for farming the new boss. I wonder what the chances will be. If there is at least one player in the group with a level higher than 20, all players will receive a warning for selecting Ground Zero for experienced players. Okay. When you play as a scav, the matching is independent of the player's level. In Call Practice mode, access to Ground Zero is also independent of the player's level. Ground Zero quests will no longer fail after the player reaches level 20. Okay. Added Ground Zero objectives for the following quests. Shooter Born in Heaven, The Guide, Peacekeeping Mission, Survivalist Path Eagle All, Escort Slaughterhouse, and Inform Information Source. Alright, so it gets it gets more difficult to get Kappa since you didn't have to enter this map for Kappa and now you do. So all the Kappa enjoyers, hello there, enjoy harder quests. Adjusted the sound system. Updated the ambient sound to match the current season in the game. Okay, so if it's winter, probably you will not hear birds singing in um, woods or on lighthouse because this is more of a summer spring kind of thing i guess wind volume now depends on its strength in the raid okay updated the indoor ambient added smoother transitions between day and night ambient added smoother transitions between indoor and outdoor ambient all right basically when the day cycles through and um day slowly turns into night or whenever you enter the doors and you enter the big building uh ambient is not gonna swap with a click of the fingers the transition is gonna be more smooth improve the audibility through door and window openings no idea what it means hopefully whenever you are watching the window or watching a doorway that leads to the outside and somebody is walking outside or there are some shots outside they're not gonna be as muffled as they are at the moment. Added the external sound suppression while inside the BTR. All right, so it's not gonna be too loud. UI improvements. Added the damage and penetration stats to the ammo inspection screen. Yes. When hovering over penetration, 
stat, you can see the penetration chance against certain armor classes. Okay, so this is going to be a good thing. We will not have to search for bullets damage and penetration anymore. And we'll have way less questions regarding how much damage bullets are supposed to do. Improve the skills menu interface. Add the descriptions to skill leveling methods. Alright, so now we're going to have an official official uh, explanation on how to level skills. Hopefully people will have left less questions. Numerical values of bonuses are displayed in tenths. Alright, more precision. Added a green skill progress bar, displaying how many skill points you have gained during the raid. Ooh, this is gonna look very juicy. Added the ability to view a player's profile via the dog tag and in the lobby screen. Added the ability to report a player on the profile page. Added the button for the dog tag bonuses information in the Hall of the Fame. Alright, that's a good thing. You can check people in... Um, I guess... Hmm. Yeah, you can check people on the um, flea market and you can check people just in your stash from the dog text without entering their name. Saves the time. Optimize the algorithm of searching for cover for AI. Change the lighting inside the ultra mall and interchange. God, how many times has this happened already? I don't even know. Edit the sound signal before the BTR departs from its stop point. Improve the hit registration when the player tilts in quick succession. Okay. A list of fixes. Fix the geometry and settings for locations, aimed at a more accurate operation of the vaulting and climbing mechanics, added the ability to vault from previously unlocked, unblocked positions, for example the windows from the health resort. Alright, proper corruptions, always good. Fix the AI behavior when using stationary weapons. Fix the damage calculation algorithm for limbs penetration, not sure if this is gonna affect the meta much, but maybe it will. If penetration uh, is is better, if uh, if limbs like arms don't eat the bullets, if they don't eat the damage which is supposed to go to the chest, fix the inability to pick up loot at the Terracot Business Center on Sheets of Tarkov. I'm not sure what the problem is, but good that it's fixed. Fixed uh, the significant FPS drop in offline rates after changing vaulting over medium obstacles. Option to the settings to auto. Well, this was happening in online as well, by the way. It wasn't just the offline rates. Fix the lack of damage registra registration after ricochet in certain cases. Fix the visual effect of painkillers when using NVGs. Fix the inability to view a player's profile when using flea market. Fix the incorrect damage to the player when walking into a non-moving BTR. Return the display of ricochet chance info for helmets. Fix the incorrect camera tilt if the player was leaning while aimed shooting. Okay, so this is supposed to make it smoother. Um, yeah, I think it happened when you were leaning and you started to ADS and it will look like very, very sharp, very quick and unnatural. So this is getting fixed in the animation itself. And this is more or less it about the patch. Those are the patch notes. So I'll probably be streaming on Twitch. Tell me what you think about this page down in the comments on YouTube below. Give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and thank you so much for watching.